for you! Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and this is... What's up guys, I'm Paul. How's this, it going? This is Paul. And uh, I was uh, recently sent a thing. I, I've made it very clear that I, I'm a shameless fan of free stuff and that people can send me stuff. And uh, the result of this is that people that have nothing to do with Nerf are now asking me to do reviews for their stuff. And in some cases, like, uh, sure, that sounds like fun. Other ones are like, why would I review that? You're because not going to get any traffic out of my channel for that. You never know. You, this is true. Yeah. Plus, I get free stuff. So that's the that's main. Neat. That's the main thing. Yeah. What we have here is Tokyo Treat, which is snacks from Japan. Shipped and here, I was just telling the captain that I I was in Japan for a month, so we're going to see. Yeah, he was my my expert witness. I ate a lot of snacks in Japan, and um, that had a lot to do with the weight gain I had out there. But that's <laughs> that's you know what? Don't ask about that. We're just going to review the box. Yeah, we're going to see what's in here. I I don't know. So was this actually shipped from Japan? Yes. Or, oh, nice. Custom okay. Custom labels. All right. And so it's not just like they got it from a. They Japanese didn't just go market. to Winco and right. buy the stuff from the. No. <laughs> from the Asian section. No. Ooh. I have no idea what. It, okay, Tokyo Treat, Volume Twenty Seven, March Two Thousand Eighteen. Oh my God, this all looks so good. Sakura, Super? so soccer season. Oh, it's okay. So soccer season is uh, basically what's going on right now in Washington, and it's cherry blossom season. Right? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's actually pretty neat. So they sent, they sent the captain a cherry blossom pack, which is pretty fitting because Washington is supposed to be littered with cherry blossom trees, right? Especially in like the Seattle area, from what I know. We just had Sakura Con, for those of you who may or may not have gone. I skipped out. What There's is a riddle? I have no idea. It's a uh, snake panda cake, cake drum rat cake drum apple. rat apple. What does that even mean? I believe it's the first letter of snake, the second letter of panda. So S P. The oh, no S P S A S A K Sac U Sac. So oh, Sakura, Sakura. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we figured it out. Alright. Premium peach Coca Cola. What is that? There's a peach flavor? Peach Coca Cola. Ooh. You guys ever seen that? Peach Coca Cola? Sweet sake Kit Kats? Is that. Is that new? I know they have weird, weird flavors of Kit Kats. Oh, here, here's Kit Kats, yep. Oh, yep. this one too. Is Sweet the sake Kit Kats. That sounds. Delicious. I know they have weird. I, I had green tea Kit Kats. Apparently they put. They have every flavor of Kit Kats. This is true. I I did see a plethora of flavors. Sakura shrimp potato, part a ring party pack. Which one is that? Apparently this one. That looks very okay. okay. So it's like potato chips. And command festival rice poofs. Rice poofs. Melon bread cookie. Uh, did we miss the thing? It might be that one. No, that's the salty split pea sticks. What? What is that guy? Is that the cookie? Or it's no, this is the marshmallows. Okay. Sakura marshmallows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we got marshmallows. Those actually look pretty delicious because I, I love marshmallows. So dips. The shimi choco corn milky red bean. Well, there's there's milk and red beans on this picture, so chocolate kanako mochi 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 mochi. Do it yourself. We have to make it. Oh, Apparently, <laughs> ginger so like tea tiny, hard candy. That's a tiny food. Ginger tea hard candy. Okay. Oh, here it is. The melon bread cookie that has been <laughs> absolutely powdered. <laughs> So uh, that'll be delicious that'll, to eat. Yep, yep, yep. I believe cookies uh, supposed to Pucho sound Pucho like gummy. Ooh, I like gummies. What do we got? Oh. Okay. Cut. The salty split pea sticks. I love that they give you the English translation, because otherwise we'd be going, it's a, it's it's a, a thing, it's a stuff. It's a vegetable. It's a place. It's, it's a vegetable in a bag. Uh, sweet soy sauce cracker share pack. That one looks like it might have yep. some. Oh, okay. okay. That's, that's oh, oh, nice. Oh, it's a whole, like... Okay. Okay. I like that. Okay. I like that. And a veggie salad umaibo? What is? 
Umaibo. I don't even know what that means. Probably noticed the lovely Umaibo waiting for you. What is I that? I suspect it's also not supposed to be a powder. <laughs> and last but not least, squid jerky. That sounds right up my alley. Yes. Totally down for some squid jerky. Right okay. Now. So we've got, we've got the you basic idea. You just left the squid jerky in the box. <laughs> like, we're just going to leave that over there. Okay. I think we've been, there's all sorts of neat things, other people who have uh, Tokyo treats. done the Tokyo treats. So one day you guys are going to see the Cap's face. Yeah. On the, right probably, on the front. Yeah. Right on the front. Oh, that That's going to be Instead of these smiley cartoons, I'm sure it will be me and my beard. It's going to be a man with a beard. Maybe two? No, I have to keep mine trimmed. The wife doesn't like it long. Right. So what are we eating first? All right. That is an excellent question. Let's, let's go we got to start it. with something salty, though. Do we? Can't go straight for the sweet. All right, well then, salty split pea sticks it is. There's salt in the name, so all right. Thank you. Oh, it's like the. I mean, everybody's seen these. This is like from the uh, the supermarket, right? You know how high the one? They're delicious though. Mm. See, I absolutely despise peas. What? Because uh, a temp job that I did in college. Um, was they were they were preparing to demolish um, an elevator, okay, like grain elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they had to empty out all of the the silos that were currently in there, and one of them was peas, oh, no. which in and of itself wasn't bad. But the conveyor belt that it ran on had dumped so many peas, and it had then gotten soaked, and that the whole conveyor belt got stuck. So when you spend three hours. <laughs> Knee deep in rotten peas in a four foot by oh, four foot tunnel. That sounds amazing. You lose the taste for them. So not not your not your thing right now. Not doing it for you. But they don't. You know they kind of taste like peas. They're like there's a hint of pea there. It's like split pea soup, but it's really I, they're quite nice. Yeah, you know. They and make that's you, coming from somebody who despises. They peas. make you think that they're healthy, but um, clearly from the labeling, we can't tell what's in them. So. Pretty sure MSG is MSG in any language. <laughs> that's that's make stuff good. That's what we call that in the in the culinary world. To make stuff good. Make stuff good powder, MSG. The glutamate. Sprinkle it on everything. It's just you know it's just sodium, and glutamate. It's not a big deal, guys. It's why all of your Chinese food tastes delicious. Yeah, all right. Well, those aren't bad. Yeah, I could I could snack on those. You know. All right. What next? What about this guy? This one's just staring at me. All right. Which one is that? That is the Sweet Soy Sauce Cracker Share Pack. Absolutely. It looks like a a smashed tater tot. Yeah, I don't know. What were these? Sweet Soy Sauce Cracker Share Pack. That's pretty delicious. The Share Pack this month featured a traditional, popular sweet soy sauce cracker Japanese snack. The satisfying crunch and natural savory, savory flavoring... From real honey and sugar makes this share pack a great way to spread the Japanese treat love. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. I can eat a plethora of those. I'm a big rice cake fan, though. Is that what this is? What? It, I mean, it's pretty much has to be a rice cake. It's like puffed rice, and then probably fried with soy sauce and sugar, which is never a bad idea. It tastes like a teriyaki, teriyaki yeah. cracker. Or something, it does, right? The teriyaki cracker. That's I love pretty, teriyaki. Yeah. Who doesn't like teriyaki? Root beer flavored soy sauce. Only here, guys. Ugh. <laughs> the Europeans right. say root beer is too sweet. That's because they don't know what they're talking about. Mm. How was that root beer that I brought the other time? It was absolutely magnificent. I need to try. I, I went uh, yesterday. I did not try it. It was kind of a cross between Barks, Dad's, and root beer candy. So like everything that's good in the world. Exactly. Okay, cool. It was Perfect. all the right flavors. Very unique. Should we go for a sweet one? Oh. Since you're kind of you're doing the root beer, what about yes. marshmallows? Let's try the marshmallows. Yes, Sakura marshmallows. Your box this month is serving Sakura realness. Who realness? These Sakura marshmallows use real Sakura flower essence Ooh, oh, to add a natural flavoring alongside popular traditional wasabon brand sugar. So they murdered a bunch you of can flowers. Can add. Some into a warm cup of milk or cocoa for a delicious Sakura infused drink. Just, just, just take a whiff. That smells like diabetes. <laughs> I'll take one. Oh, they're so fluffy. Uh huh. You know, the, the smell of the package 
and just smacks you. It's like walking into a Bed Bath & Beyond, right? Where you get smacked in the nose with, with smells. But the taste is actually really delicate. It's actually really light. I I could probably eat that whole pack. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of marshmallows. No, uh, they're right. Glass of milk or hot cho co cocoa. That would be fabulous. I'm going to stick those in the mouth just for a while. I'm going to let those soak. All right. What do we got? Should we do a... Hmm. How about the Sakura Shrimp Potato <laughs> Ring Party Pack? <laughs> With a squid. We'll that, save that we're saving last. the squid for we'll last. We'll save that for last. Absolutely. All right, we're doing party pack? Which one's a party pack? We could do the Sakura... This one? Is this the potato Shrimp thing? Potato Ring Party Pack. So these are our potato and shrimp rings. What does it say? In your box this month, you will find a fun Japanese Hinamatsuri doll festival themed party pack filled to the brim with Sakura shrimp flavored potato ring snacks. <laughs> this party pack ensures that you will have a flavor filled spring season. But they I love these descriptions. Was... They're really. <laughs> They, they sound they sound so nice, right? As you're like, as you're just reading the description, usually you're emptying the bag. I just they look so cool. <laughs> they, they are yeah, they're <laughs> they're little pyramids. Look at them. Come on, they're so cute. Okay. They're I mean, juice. they're they're pretty. I'm gonna cut it. All right, I'm gonna have the yellow one just because. Oh, I like, I like so yellow. that's just the wrapping. They're they're tiny little. Oh. Oh okay. They're little ring-shaped potato chips. They take kind of like Pringles. Yeah. 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 Pringles. Which they would they would have to be the kind that's just totally mulched to get them to shape like that. They're quite nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can get high blood pressure with that one. Yup, that's cool. There's a whole bunch of salt. It's so good. You know what's funny though? You could, like, pour these into, like, a turkey sandwich. Oh, that'd be amazing. With some cheese, like a sharp white cheddar. Mm. And some of that, um, not the oven roasted, the, the, uh, the seasoned stuff. And just have this in there to give it a little that bit more crunch. So good. We should have that when we're done with this. I have oh. turkey and extra sharp white cheddar. Because oh. the only thing I've had today was a pack of beef turkey. All right, yeah. We're going to, we're going to have that for lunch. For dinner. I guess it'll be dinner. I know, what time is it? Five? Nah, it's fine. Yeah. At least I won't hit traffic. I drove two and a half hours today to open this with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want your cookie? Yeah, let's try the melon want... bread cookie. <laughs> Do you want a just... super cute melon bread cookie that has appeared <laughs> in your box. Ooh. Shaped like a panda. With tons of possible it's expression shape, like, variations. Like... This crunchy, tasty cookie is perfect to fulfill that cookie craving. All right. So this is totally going to be shaped like a panda. With some sort of amusing right. expression on its face. Poor panda. I mean, come on. What is this, guys? Tokyo Tree. I think we need to talk about bubble mailers. Good lord. Wait. It smells good, Wait. though. Oh, I think I found his nose. Yeah, I think I've got one of his eyes. Oh, that are good, though. I think he was he was looking smug, was his expression. Which you know what that tastes like? Is... Ah! Oh, no. He I lost, lost the face. eyeball. No. Nah, it tastes like, uh, oh, that is like, delicious. like melon bubble gum yeah. in cookie form, right? Yeah. Isn't there like a melon flavored bubble gum that I'm thinking of? Like honeydew. Yeah, honeydew. Which was, which is a freaking melon. It's like a honeydew cracker. That is, that is delicious. That is really good. There is a, yeah, what is, there's a flavor there. Butter. <laughs> Butter. Butter. Like a familiar candy flavor. Right? It's, it almost... It reminds me of another candy that I've had uh -huh. probably a dozen times, maybe more. But, but definitely not in the form of a cookie. No, no, no. Or the dust of the remains of whatever. A yeah, this poor panda. He was beat up all the way from Tokyo. That's good though. That is very good. All right. <laughs> Should we try the veggie salad? Um, um, umaibo. Is that the? That's this one. Yeah. If I if I remember correctly. When you opened your box, you probably noticed the lovely. Umbibo. So Waiting pretty. for you. This month's Umbibo is yummy veggie salad flavor. Japanese salads are packed with various tastes. This Umbibo, I'm what? pronouncing that incorrectly, by the way. I'm no. well aware of that. No. Umibo. Captures that sensation into one snack. All right, this is definitely powder. What? So I'm going to have to be very careful. Is it not supposed to be? I don't know. Is that not a feature? 
Are we not getting the full experience here? I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe we're getting a better experience because now it's faster to eat. We. It has been slightly pre-chewed. <laughs> it's like, here you go, little birdie. All right, here you go. Oh, well, I don't... Honestly, I have no idea what it's supposed to be, but... Yes, that's the thing. We don't have any frame of reference. You know, so no, You're supposed is, to be my expert. This is great. Hold on, I'm going to need the knife. When you this, had them in Japan, were they exactly like this? This stuff, I mean, a lot of this stuff had that really oh. salty... Salty flavors to them. Oh, they look like Funyuns. Here, here we go. I got it open. Oh, there we go. They do look like Funyuns. It's it's light and fluffy and absolutely delicious. Mmm. That's a Funyun. It's like a Cheeto with more flavor. That's mm. a Funyun. I've never Ooh, had a Funyun. You never. You've never had a Funyun. Never. Oh my god. We can't be friends. I'm bringing you a bag of Funyuns next time I come over. That is unnecessary. <laughs> Are they like this, apparently? Yeah. Okay, then go ahead and bring me Funyuns. <laughs> they're so good. They better be just like this, though. They're so good. But they're shaped like onion rings. They're not crushed in a tiny little package made for ants. That's that's interesting. They're in a tube. Are they supposed to be, like, French fry style? Right. Do I look like the guy who packed this stuff in? Oh, there we go. Oh, I, sent it to you. I think it's supposed to be in three long sticks. But it did not survive the journey as such. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. We know nothing. We but it does taste good. Wine. It does taste good, though, I will say. Uh, the, the fluffiness is amazing. Yeah. And it's similar. Like, the hmm. all the other stuff was salty sweet, too. This it's is like a puffy, the same... a puffy Cheeto. Yeah. Not, the, not the regular Cheeto. Definitely need some water after a lot of this stuff. I'm like, oh, just water's gone. But they did send you Coca-Cola. So there's that. Peach flavor. It's impressive that it survived the journey, but the cookie was old. Right? It was dust. Like, that thing didn't explode in, like, six different airplanes? Alright. Well, we got... I think this one's gonna be salty. Ah. Rice puffs. The and uh, Pan Man Festival Rice Puffs. Your anime snack anime. in this festival and Pan Man themed doll festival rice puffs. These rice puffs are often eaten during Japan's hit em up Suri. Doll festival season. The snack has three colors, white, pink, and green, with two flavors. A salt puff, a slightly sweet white honey puff. Is there a pink one, it said? Or is it two flavors? There's two flavors. Right? Three colors, three? white, pink, and green. Oh, there's some pink ones. Right, with here. two flavors. Here's the pink ones. A salty and slightly sweet, and a white honey puff. So they've got three colors, but only two, two flavors. flavors? So I don't Why know if that? there's no way to tell which ones are which until it's too late. I think the red ones are slightly sweeter. Oh, yeah. No, the white ones are slightly sweeter. The other ones are salty. Those are good, though. Their uh, tendency to mix what, uh, salty and sweet is fascinating. It's called umami. And uh, no, that's uh, that's the reference that they use is when it's like the five flavors or whatever, and there's a sixth one, umami. Usually the combination of all of them, but typically salty and sweet. Or, as we know it, is MSG. Hmm. I don't know that I would get these again. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what though? I'm a big fan of like the Chicago style kettle corn, hmm. where it's like the cheddar and the caramel. Have you ever had that? Not on purpose. Oh, it's so good. What jellies? Let's try that one. And you said you the like the jellies. Pucho Gumi Hop Chan Cherry. The Hop Chan, a popular Japanese character, Hoppy Chan, Hopi Chan, Hop Chan, uh, helps bring you this sweet and sour cherry gumi. On the side of the cap wrapping, you will find a fortune for this year. Oh. Uh -oh. Once you have finished <laughs> the snack, the cap can also be used as a fun toy. They can, but what do you do with the... Oh, is it one of the ones you press down and it pops up? Yep. Totally believe so. Uh, come on. Come on. No. It's not the most fun toy. I am not impressed. Nope. Fun toy. Fun toy. I figured it out. Oh, God. <laughs> Seth? Mm. Here's your jellies. Oh, they're really hard. Tiny little... 
I will say, puff minions with eyeballs and bow ties. Don't eat if you have fillings. This does not work. Look at that, worse than using a blaster. I'm gonna shoot me in the face. How did you get it to fire? I don't know my fingers. I think their idea of fun is very skewed. Either that or we're using this entirely wrong. There might be some... No? Okay, well, that works. You know. Okay, no, I like these. Those are actually pretty tasty. The, the texture is not as gummy as, like, a gummy bear. No. It's, 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 it's like a very stale gummy bear. Yeah, but the flavor is good. The flavor is actually really nice. And, you know, but it's not, say, like, sticky gummy. No. It's not, like, It's actually Mike really easy to eat. Like, the Mike and Ike's? Right? No, now and, now and then. Now, now and later. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the really chewy ones. Ones that, that stick your teeth together yeah. and pull your, uh, yep. your fillings out. Now, these are just, like, stale gummies. I believe this is the Shimi Cocoa Corn Milky Red Bean. Azuki, or red bean, flavor is a popular choice among fans of Japanese treats. Real Hokkaido oh, that smells good. Uh, red bean were used to make this smooth, milky, red bean flavored shimi cocoa corn snack. Be careful though, once you start snacking on it, you can't stop. Oh, that smells delicious. It smells like animal cookies. Oh, that's so good. Oh, damn it. They weren't lying on that one. Mm. It is. It, sounds, it, it tastes like they blended an animal cookie. Yeah. That is so good. Mm. I'm going to have to go find these. There's a Japanese market called uh, Wajimai. I think there's one out here, maybe in Seattle area. But uh, I was expecting them to be crunchier, but they're, they're not. They're very soft. It's almost like eating a cookie version of Lucky Charms Marshmallow. Like if they mixed the the, the, the stuff cereal, together. Yeah, and then they just made it into a cookie. Yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. There's a hint of, like, theater butter popcorn in there, too. That's so good. Mm. Yep, yep, they weren't lying. That is delicious. Kit Kats? Kit Kats. Is sake flavored? Sweet sake Kit Kats. A sweet take on the classic sake flavor, this satisfying Kit Kat has found its way into your box. Sake is often drunk under a sakura tree in full bloom. So we hope indulging in this deep flavor helps bring that same sense of peace and happiness. It smells, you know, I know a, a lot of you have never had sake before, but that smells like sake. You should take a whiff of that. Really pungent. Ho! I'm actually really looking forward to this. I, I love sake. I've never had it because I don't drink, but... That, oh wow! It'll blow you sideways. But you know, it has a really upfront, really nice taste to it, and then it kind of mellows out, like sake would. It's delicious. I'm gonna have to find these. My yeah, wife will get a kick out of that. Take that one. Yes. I'm gonna take that on the flight to Vegas on Sunday. That's gonna be my breakfast with my wife. I believe that gets us to the hard candy, the ginger tea hard candy. The Kenosai snack that can be found this month is a soothing ginger tea hard candy. This sweet and slightly spicy candy is supposed to help soothe one's throat. Perfect for season when budding flowers can often cause sore throats. Well, I happen to have one of those. No, so I don't, And I don't want one. So, <clears throat> God, dying of the plague. Ooh. That's really good. Mm. Ow. Just to know someone who absolutely loved ginger. This would mm -hmm. probably be right up her alley. Though. Those are good. It tastes like ginger tea with honey. It's like they steeped tea and honey together with some ginger and then candied it. That's really good. Not good though. Yeah. I like that. No rot your teeth. But uh, help uh, cure motion sickness. Oh. Yeah. Is there meaning it? No, uh, ginger. Oh, ginger does. Okay. Ginger is a natural. All right. Naturally good for. Okay. Here we go. The chocolate Kanako Mochi Do It Yourself. This month's Do It Yourself kit is a super tasty Mochi Delight. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Yay. Incidentally, everything that I've pronounced wrong, I don't care. Don't be those people. Nobody likes a pedantic adventure. Don't be those people. You can dip. Let's see. It is simple to make and a joy to snack on. You can dip the mochi, 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 in either chocolate, kinako, 
a roasted soybean powder, or both. Mix it up and have fun. We think we have worked it out. So you soak... It's not them. the most appetizing looking snack. It looks pretty terrifying. But I suspect it will be delicious. So I'm going to try... Oh god, it's a slug. How are you going to get the chocolate on there? You can't dip it. It says to dip it in there. But the chocolate is like the consistency of fudge. <laughs> leave off! You gotta go for two. You gotta go for yeah. two. You yeah. gotta go for two. Yeah. You gotta go for two. It doesn't want to leave yeah. its friend. Okay. <laughs> chocolate is a little, uh... A little... <laughs> it's disgusting. If I had fans in Japan, I assume I have lost them now. Yep. What are you doing? You're making like a chocolate sandwich the opposite way. I, I can't even. Alright, I'm gonna go for the for the soybean paste powder. Because this one I can just dunk. Those by themselves have no flavor whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yep. They are they are they are a void. They are a flavor it's just rice. vacuum. This is just rice. Is ever, it? Yeah, have you ever seen how they make mochi? No. Basically, soak it for a long time. You buy like special mochi rice that has a bunch of gluten in it. They soak it and then they put it in this mochi compressor and it just spins the rice and crushes it at the same time until it's like this gel. And that's what that is. And then they steam it. Huh. It's, uh, I love mochi. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, definitely a bit more, um, interesting. A bit more interesting than our usual Lunchables. Yeah. I don't know if that would be considered a Lunchable. I know. I don't even know what that would be considered. Because you still need water to make it, so... True. You just, True. like, if you don't have water, you just spit in it. And just try to hydrate it with your... <laughs> that stuff does fall out of the sky. But especially in Japan. Alright, we have our slightly chilled peach-flavored Coca-Cola. Which, if you go to, the, like, the theaters nowadays, they have those vending machines that have absolutely every mm -hmm. flavor imaginable. and you can... They actually have that at Five Guys. Yeah. They have a little vending machine. Or yeah, the, 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 like, the nicer With ones? the buttons, yeah. and you select whatever button. Yeah. got, like, 9,000 flavors. You can, like, make flavors. sodas or whatever. Yeah. Those like, are pretty cool. I want to put peach in my root beer, you know, mm. if you were some kind of a heretic. Yeah, I don't know about that one. All right. Does it smell like peach? I, I couldn't tell you what a peach smells like. Yep. It smells Ugh. like peach. Ugh. I have my... Yeah. Official to... Jared's Epic Nerf War I Thermos one that of they those. gave us. That is cool. Yeah. And I've yet to ever put anything in it, so... There we go. What the first it? thing he puts in it is peach-flavored Coca-Cola. Just so you guys know. Salud. It's pretty, uh... That is vile. Well, I was gonna say it's pretty delightful. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's, uh... <coughs> it's it's peach Coca Cola. I mean, <coughs> and Cap's dying. He's fine. He'll be okay. I'm good. It's exceptionally sweet, though. Maybe because I'm not used to drinking that many sodas, but like the peach flavor, that's pretty sweet. I'm just gonna taste like Coke that's gone moldy. I can't do any more. It that could is... be my mug, though. That's too. That's too sweet. That'll. You're gonna die of beatus. Uh huh. That's right pretty much all that is. Especially after eating mostly salty food and then going straight to that. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of sweet. I'm that actually is. looking forward to the squid jerky now. All right, squid jerky. All right, squid jerky. Don't sell it. It's like chewy, salty fish flakes. Yep. It's not bad. I wouldn't buy a pack of it. Ugh. 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 No, oh, God. Never mind, good. Mm. Never mind. I'm not a big fan. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to wash it out with this peach Coke. That'll do it. That's a flavor that was made in heaven. Mm. So yeah. I think that's pretty good. So big shout out to, uh, who is it? Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Treat. So Tokyo Treat are the ones who sent me this fabulous box of strange bizarreness. 
Uh, link will, of course, be top of the description. You can sign up with them, and once a month, they will send you a box of treats that apparently is not only themed, but they explain it all to you quite That's nicely. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty neat. I really like the descriptions. And then there's also trivia and merchandise and a little bit of history about Japan, some Japanese adjectives. Oh, see. Learn some Japanese. Pictures of people who have had it. So submit your picture to Tokyo Treat. Maybe you'll be featured in their fancy neck. Because, you know, I think I think the brochure is almost a necessity. Because otherwise you don't know what you're actually eating. Yeah. And, and then it's just, kind of a, it's just kind of a grab bag. And uh, I will say, when I was in Japan, there were some restaurants I had gone to where I had no idea what I was ordering. So I just point, oh, point at something at the menu. We didn't get in on any of the Pocky. That's the only Japanese treat I knew before Ooh, this. Oh, Pocky. I had a Pocky. I had a... Uh, the almond chocolate pocky Ooh. and it tastes like the dove bars with the chocolate and the almond on the outside Ooh. so good oh those good. are so good i love pocky yeah, yeah. tokyo treat and uh yeah fantastic awesome thanks okay, for it. thanks for sharing yeah all the salty sweet treats i'm sending some stuff with you because i can't eat all of this i don't even want to eat i'll all probably this. eat it on the way home probably <laughs> <laughs> keep me awake all right officer was there anything you'd like to declare Oh, my stomach hurts! My stomach hurts! Would you like to try some squid jerky? <laughs> Get out of the car, please. <laughs> Cheers to the squid jerky. Alright. Well, if you're interested in snacks, go for it. This was kind of fun. If you want me to review more stuff, let me know. Send it to this guy. I'll come visit. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs>